damage, power, explosions. EXPLOSIONS! In this one, we're going to be taking a look at all of the parts that can spawn on non-unique and non-legendary Torg heavy weapons. And we'll start off with the body. The body of all Torg heavy weapons will be the same, no matter the rarity. Here's a better view of the body because it likes to hide behind the UI. Get used to this because Torg heavies are shy in the part inspector tab. The body has two different accessories that it can spawn with. The first one will increase your damage by 10%. The second one will increase your projectile speed by 30%. That's it for the body, and now we'll move on to the barrels. Torg heavy weapons will have four different barrels that they can spawn with, and each barrel will have its own set of unique accessories. The barrels are the Hedgehog Barrel, the Quickie Barrel, the Three-Way Barrel, and the Lump, which is the Alien Barrel. We'll start off with the Hedgehog. The Hedgehog will have the second highest base damage and the second highest base fire rate of the non-alien barrels. This is the Hedgehog barrel here, which will set your splash damage radius to 600. The Hedgehog has three accessories that it can spawn with. The first will increase your damage by 10%. The second one here will also increase it by 10%. And the third one will increase your projectile speed by 30%. The second barrel will be the Quickie Barrel. The Quickie will have the highest fire rate of all the barrels, and will actually have the same base damage as the Hedgehog. However, the accessories for the Hedgehog will make the Hedgehog deal more damage per shot, while the Quickie accessories will increase the Quickie's fire rate. The barrel of the Quickie will set your splash damage radius to 495. And like the Hedgehog, this barrel can also spawn with three accessories. The first one will increase your fire rate by 10%. The second one shown here will do the exact same thing. And the third one will increase your projectile speed by 30%. The third barrel will be the three-way barrel. This barrel will have the lowest base damage per projectile, but it does shoot three at once, so it will actually deal the most damage per shot. It will also have the lowest fire rate of the non-alien barrels. Now because this shoots three projectiles, the sticky percentage modifier will be much smaller than those of the Hedgehog and the Quickie, which we'll look at in a bit. The three-way barrel is going to set your splash damage radius to 420. This barrel can also spawn with three unique accessories. The first one will increase your fire rate by 10%. The second will increase your projectile speed by 30%. And the third one will provide you with a 20% increase in your splash damage radius. The last barrel will be the Lump, which is the Alien Barrel. Now this one works very differently than the other three barrels. With a Lump, which costs 5 ammo to shoot, you will have a short charge time before firing a giant, slow-moving projectile. Now while you can hit enemies directly with this thing, what you want to do is shoot it in the air around a group of enemies. What will happen is that the projectile will tether to nearby enemies and deal damage over time. After a few seconds, the projectile will explode and then spawn smaller projectiles that travel along the tethers, dealing full damage to any linked enemies. Now the barrel of the lump will provide you with a splash damage radius of 300, but will decrease your reload time by 25%. Purple versions of this gun will spawn with an accessory that will increase your elemental damage by 10%, and increase your elemental chance by 15%. Now these two modifiers do not affect anything other than your dot. Your dot and the chance to apply it will both increase. Now that we're done with the barrels, we're going to take a look at the grips. The first grip is going to increase your damage by 5%. The second one will increase your fire rate by 5%. And the third one will decrease your reload time by 5%. Next, we'll take a look at the magazines. These will have a pretty big impact on your gun. The magazines will set your base mag size as you might expect, and they will also determine your base reload speed. In addition, they will also determine the sticky percentage modifier that you receive for each additional pellet stuck to a target. Generally, the lower the magazine, the higher the percentage. Now the three-way gets a much smaller percentage than the other two non-alien barrels, which we'll see as we go through the mags. The first magazine will be the two mag. It will provide you with a sticky percentage of 75%, which is the highest you can get for a Torg launcher. Now again, the three-way gets special treatment here because it shoots three projectiles instead of one. So instead, the three-way will receive a modifier of 11%. The two-round mag will set your base reload speed to four and a half seconds. The next magazine will be the 3 mag. This will set your sticky percentage to 55%, unless you have a 3 way where it will be set to 8%. This one will have the fastest base reload speed at 2.7 seconds. 
Now this isn't entirely accurate as you reload this magazine one shot at a time, so the time will depend on the number of rounds that need to be reloaded. The final magazine will be the 4 mag. This one will have the lowest sticky percentage at 33% and on a 3-way, 5%. This one will set your base reload speed to 4 seconds. Next we're going to move on to the stocks. There are three different stocks and each can come with two unique accessories. The first stock is going to increase your damage by 5%. The first accessory for this one will further increase your damage by 5%. The second accessory for this one will increase your projectiles per shot by 1, but will apply a 25% accuracy penalty. The second stock will increase your fire rate by 5%. The first accessory for this one will increase your elemental damage by 10%. Again, this will affect your dot, not your weapon's base damage if it's elemental. The second accessory will increase your splash damage radius by 20%. The third and final stock will decrease your reload time by 5%. The first accessory for this one will increase your magazine size by 1. The second one here will do the exact same thing. Now these accessories are nice because they're not going to affect your sticky percentage. So for example, you can get two extra shots on a two mag heavy weapon and cause your sticky projectiles to deal even more damage. We're going to take a look at the three scopes next. The first one shown here doesn't have any listed zoom. The second one here will increase your zoom by one and a half times. And the last one will increase it by four and a half times. Finally, we come to the different elements that Torg launchers can come in. Believe it or not, there are actually five different elements here. Fire, shock, corrosive, cryo, and radiation. But most of the time, you probably will not see one. So here's a table showing all of these parts that we've covered here. This, along with information for other parts, will be in a spreadsheet linked in the description. That'll do it for Torg Heavies, guys. See ya.